Yeah, the Amico Discord is just one big troll. It is. I, I, I'm reading the messages. It's one big troll, and Alvarado on purposely is t is responding to the troll account, which is saying stupid things like, "Hey John, can we have a can we have an Amico themed pillowcase merch? Can we have an Amico themed this? Can we have an Amico themed cup? Can we, it's just the most dumbest." stuff on the discord and that's what john alvarado's responding to he's like oh that's a good idea oh i never thought of that it's friggin pathetic it's so pathetic and then some guy writes a question saying uh i tried to install the app and it has an error saying some error about trying to install dart frenzy and then john alvarado asks a question which he knows the answer to just to buy time he'd be like uh, do you already have the app or do you not have the app? Because I'm assuming it would say update. Yeah, he doesn't have the app. Okay, it's erring when he tries to download a simple app for freaking game to his dumb little stupid Amico home. It's erring, okay? You guys can't even get stage one completed into release. How the hell, how the hell did this Amico home pass friggin' the auditing team at Google Play and Android iOS, uh, like the iOS Apple store? How did it pass auditing? If we can't even friggin' figure out how to download the simple, but I'm talking about for the if we're talking about this Amiga Home app and we're doing bar trivia or sports trivia or, or video game trivia or candy trivia, whatever it is, we're playing emoji charades. Have something if you you scan that QR code or you're or you get by that app to go there. Have a message board where hey, <laughs> and I'm not even I'm not joking when I say this. People are gonna think I'm crazy, but have it to where I can say hey, uh, so and so in the red shirt over there, you know, like hey. I challenge you to I challenge you to uh this this trivia game or or hey can I buy you a drink you know maybe maybe in nice ways like obviously Uncle you Chuck sounds more. extra creepier now well game to the goddamn app it's a big friggin troll job it's pathetic losers working at Intellivision that can't get anything right and there's people in the Discord defending them it's stupid it's all theory crafting everyone in the Discord's like. Can we, it's just like you're not even talking about the games. You guys are just having issues with trying to download things. And there's one stupid account, Puppy Posse, the biggest troll I've ever seen in my life. Literally, Puppy Posse, it's so obvious because when you're writing your sentences, you're trying to act like you're a child talking by like being like, instead of saying cool, C-O-O-L, you're like C-U-O-O-L, like you're trying to spell like a child with, with like slang grammar. It's so pathetic. And Alvarado knows it's a troll, but since you're saying something positive and trolling something positive about it, he's talking to you every single time and responding to you. It's and then they're gonna they're gonna take that they're gonna take that content that they have of puppy posy trolling and they're gonna use that to show the friggin' judge. Hey, look, see the, this? There's a Discord account here, puppy posy. He was really excited about the meek. He's asking us questions about the merch. He's asking us questions about this friggin' a backpack. Uh, a backpack Finnegan Fox. All you did, Puppy Posse, was you just took a screenshot of the game in play. You took that and you pasted it on the top of the backpack. Like, look, guys, a graphic. That's like me. That's like me selling. Uh, let's say in my merch store, right? Like right now, I have I have shirts and cups. That's like me selling a T-shirt, right? And the graphic I put on the T-shirt is a screenshot, literally, of the Super Mario Three first stage. Right, you know when you first start off, I t I screenshot that, put it in paint, crop it out, put it on the shirt. Like here, you guys, a Super Mario shirt. How pathetic, Puppy Posse, and it's friggin' working. They're using that against us, because they took the seventeen million in gold coins. They're gonna look for any excuse, any excuse to friggin' fill up their Amico Discord with a bunch of fluff. And false infer like false garbage theory crafting, like the Amico is the next best thing. That's why they don't want any criticism in there. Because if the criticism in there, then they try to show the judge, and the judge is reading is like, well, there's a guy here that's saying this is trash and that blah blah blah. That's why he's deleting all the messages, all the negative comments, deleting all the negative this. And, and I think either way you see it right now, the Amico has cemented itself as whether it's in controversy or not controversy, or people that love it, people that hate it. It is here and it's something big. So whether you love it or not, it's gonna be a success. And it's gonna come out when it comes out. That, that's the whole point. That friggin' Lancaster guy, I don't see him messaging anymore. What happened to Lancaster? 
that was the one guy that was left that was actually like an old guy actually interested in the television that actually did cr uh, constructive criticism that they were giving a pass and not deleting his comments now i don't even see lancaster messaging anymore in the discord what happened the whole discord is cocked there's like 190 people members in there only like four people are talking all the time and the rest of us are just lurking reading how pathetic it is and you all know it's pathetic that's the thing everyone lurking when you read the messages how pathetic is it it's such trash they're not even talking about the quality of the games they're just theory craft oh it would be great to have the it would be great to have Finning and Fox 2 player and then you could change the seasons here. And change. It's not going to happen. Newsflash. Okay. They have no one working at Intellivision. It's just Alvarado in a, in some scummy third party developers in some third world country working for one cent a day. That's it. Wasted Studios is not even there anymore. Hans Slippish, that piece of trash that took $500,000 of Bavarian grant money. And that's what was used to complete Shark Shark and all these packing games. <laughs> and then he's just, he's tweeting out a picture of him driving a riding a camel and he just, at the height at the height of the Amico like a uh, criticism at the height of it. He's found tweeting. He's found with the biggest smile on his face with his family riding camels near the pyramid of Giza in Egypt as the friggin' Amico is going is going up in flames here in cucked California office. It's just hilarious. He, he he just went in there, did his whole little executive suit role that he had to do, took the 500k from Bavarian grant money, they gave it to that, and then he just friggin' effed off and <laughs> he's just riding camels and riding his German Mercedes around where the hell he's from. This is ridiculous, okay? This is what it's come to. The, the, look, look this, is how, this is how you know, like, it's so pathetic. What was Amico before? It was Tommy, right? Like a C-list, B-list celebrity prancing around from live stream to live stream, right? Talking and doing all this stuff. It went from that, right, to now this. Puppy posy. <laughs> Theory crafting garbage things in the Amico home. And Alvarado is responding. Like, this is so pathetic. Like, this, the cou this couch co-op experience. Do you know how many games there are? What about doing... We're talking about Sega, and you're always like, oh, it's always like the Sonic series or the Genesis series or another Genesis pack. What if they did a... They were like, hey, for, for Amico, we're going to do an exclusive 10-pack uh, of Dreamcast games. And they just ported some Dreamcast games. You don't see that anymore. I think it'd be you know, I mean, other than emulation. You know, what if they did an official uh, release on 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 something like Amico, which would easily support it? I would think. I uh, well, the like Crazy Taxi and a bunch of other stuff. You know, where you can have a couch co op experience, right? They do know, and the reason the reason the couch co op experience is dying off, anyways, because no one wants to do it. It's very hard. To get a bunch of people in the same goddamn friggin' basement or ba same room playing garbage shovelware games. That's not going to happen anymore. It's not going to happen. So what? Uh, whatever Scamroni was trying to sell, that wasn't going to happen anyways. He sold this dream of the couch co-op experience, which was, it's dying off. His whole thing was to revive it. Why? It's dying off. How can you revive something that's already dead? It's already dead. We have online games. I'd rather prefer I'd rather prefer playing from my computer online and connecting around the world to other people playing online than having to go to the goddamn place and, and like the one place and and s sit together and play. That, like, no, it's not going to happen. What you know? What the funny thing is, if you want to be realistic, there's in, in my experience. The only two genres of games that are still couch co-op, in my opinion, is fighting games, number one. And number the, the other the other game I've other genre I've seen that's still couch co-op where you're sitting in the same room is like a sports game. Those are the two genres. Fighting game, right? Because you don't want lag. So that has to be couch co-op. Fighting game has to be in the same room, right beside each other playing. 
And then the other thing, which can be played online, but I do still see it played on couch co-op, is a sports game, Madden. And, uh, and, and you know, Madden, NBA 2K, NHL 2K, whatever it is. Those are the two genres. Did Amico have any fighting games? No, it didn't. All right, not there's no way that 2016 cell phone chip can compute a fighting game. Hell friggin' no. And two, did it have a sports game? Well, if you call 10 levels of skiing sports, yes, that garbage. And if you call that stupid Pong game and dumb MLB license, which they never had, then yes, I guess so. But anything else they show, Shark Shark, Finning and Fox, Moon Patrol, that's not a sports game, right? That's the whole thing. Isn't that true? Isn't that true? The only couch co-op experience we have today in this day and age that's still surviving is fighting games and sports games. All right. So put that in your friggin' pipe and smoke it, Tommy Tallarico. That's what you should have thought of. That's the reality of couch co-op, not friggin' shark shark and stupid little moon patrol where you have one person jumping, one person shooting, one person going forward. and one... That was the most embarrassing thing. I have ever seen in my goddamn life.